Okay, so I'm uh, talking to Rachel Watt, who is currently doing a policing degree with a view to uh, joining Greater Manchester Police, hopefully. Okay, so uh, Rachel, can you just tell us when it was you were at CCSC? Yeah, so I was at CCSC from 2012 till 2015. Okie dokie. And uh, where is it that you're actually studying your, uh, your degree at the moment? I'm studying my degree at Staffordshire University at the moment. At Staffs, okay. And what was it that uh, made you decide that you wanted to do policing as a, as a degree and then obviously a career? Um, so when I left high school, I actually didn't really have much of an idea as what I wanted to do career-based. Um, mm. So I had a look around at college and seeing what they were offering and they offered a public services level three extended diploma, which uh, would be right up my street because it's practical. Yeah. I'm more fluid than a thinker in that terms. Okay. And then uh, I did my diploma, um, wanted to join the army, but decided to go to the university route instead because I decided that's what I wanted to become a police officer. Oh, uh, right. Okay. I, th I think some of our former students have gone on to do sim similar di diplomas at college. And uh, obviously we said about uh, maybe you wanted to join GMP. I mean, what is it particularly about that sort of that force or that type of force that interests you most? Um, it, there's there's more to it there. There's because it's obviously a bigger city than around here, and um, you're less likely to bump into people that you know as well when oh. you don't believe you don't want to walk your own beat. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. That's uh, that, that, you don't want to um, end up bumping into people you know. And have you thought at this stage what area of police work you'd be interested in pursuing a longer term career in? Um, well, interestingly enough, um, I'm doing a master's at the moment, so I've finished my bachelor's, I'm on my master's now, and that um, helps towards being a detective. So yeah. at the moment, I'm currently working for the Institute of Policing, mm -hmm. which um, so I help to deliver material to people that are doing um, a degree, entry, uh, degree entry holders and police apprenticeships. I'm helping to deliver material to them. Um, I'm working with four different police forces, one of them in West Midlands Police, which is the second biggest uh, police force yeah. in the UK. And yeah. um, I'm also working on the technology side of it. Um, uh, so that it, it helps a lot towards opening more doors. Sure. Uh, so what I'm hoping for is to just it's just ranking up mainly detective. Right. OK, so so that's that's the area of work that most, most interests you. Yeah. Right. OK. And I mean, what do you think would be the most challenging part of police work? Um, the most challenging part will be, I think it will mainly be the, well, there's a lot of challenges that will be faced in policing, of course. Um, I think it will just be dependent on what the incident could be. So possibly a murder or, um, any, anything related to youths. Um, I think they will be the main problems, especially the paperwork. <laughs> <laughs> no, so the reason I ask is um, I had a chat with someone who else, someone else who went to CCSE who's uh, a forensics officer. Okay. And she was saying that one of the um, challenges fr from her point of view, sometimes she's the only, I suppose, uniformed person there and she has to deal with a lot of um, issues with, with with people so it's not just about dealing with the crime scene itself it's about the yeah. I suppose being that shoulder to cry on sometimes being a counsellor helper yeah. um all, all, the, all different uh, all different types of uh, role uh, yeah. that are all kind of mixed up mixed up up in that so how long from this point on um will it take for you to to become a police officer do you think hopefully by next summer right okay so uh, have you started making applications or how, how does that work? Um, well, I was luckily I was lucky enough to have the ex chief constable of staffs police as my tutor. So um, she's going to be helping me alongside with all the other lecturers at uni, which are all ex police ex inspectors. Oh, brilliant. All right. Um, and then when I finish this degree, I'm going to go on to applying for Greater Manchester. Right. OK. Brilliant. And just one one final question um, from, from me. Um, what was it you wanted to do as a kid? Was it always in policing, did you think, or is it has that come on later on? As a kid, mm. um, lo oh, it was like loads of different things I wanted to do. Yeah. Like, obviously, every little girl wants to be like a singer and actress, someone <laughs> wants to be a chef, a writer, yeah. just yeah. like all these different phases, and then yeah, I've ended up here. <laughs> right, okay, so, so like, oh, 
Well, same as everyone, I suppose. Like, lots of different things when, when you're younger, and then it, was, it then comes clear as to what you want to do. Oh, yeah. And I must also say that when I was in school, I used to think I was one of them people that would be like, you don't need maths, you do need maths. You need yeah. maths specifically in this degree as well, because we have to measure blood spy between a murder victim and where it is to identify how they were hit and what they were hit with. Yeah. So let's get out of that mindset. <laughs> so, so the message is, kids... Learn, learn your maths people with your, <laughs> your, your, your core subjects and all, all those skills. That's brilliant. Well, uh, Rachel, thanks ever so much for your time. I really, really, really appreciate it. So you look after yourself. Thank you. You too. Have a good Christmas.